Okay, hi. Hi again, guys. So, this will be the part two of our balancing. So, what I'm going to do uh, in this video will be to solve an acidic reaction. So, I will still follow the same steps in our balancing redox reactions. But uh, I'm just going to give you a, a more complex example as compared to the first video. So, let's start. So, as to shorten this video, and again, should there be questions, uh, please uh, just comment on the link, uh, on the YouTube link of this video, or you can send a message uh, via Canvas or via our group messenger chat. So let's start with the example. Oops. Okay. So this is my example. Uh, so I'm going to solve this. It's just moving a little. So let's get my pen tool. <laughs> okay, so this is uh, an acidic reaction or an acidic solution. So this is uh, dichromate plus nitrous acid plus chromium uh, uh, is equal to chromium and nitrate. So again, we just uh, for reference or purposes, you might want the names of uh, the substances that were used in this reaction uh, this is dichromate okay and then this is a uh, this is nitrous acid sorry for that okay and then this is chromium And this is nitrate, okay? For the characteristics, of course, just in case you want to visualize uh, the reaction or the uh, solution that we have, you can just Google and then check uh, the end result. Okay, this, of course, is our reactant part and this is our product part. So let's go over the steps, okay? Uh, for the first step, what did we say? We were doing uh, splitting the whole equation into two half reactions. So the technique, or as I've said, uh, as a rule, you look for similar substances in both sides, and that's what you'll pair up. So in this case, let's pair up uh, dichromate and chromium. That's quite the obvious uh, choice there. So our first half reaction is dichromate. So that's Cr2O7 negative 2 uh, yields what? Chromium. Okay. So let's just uh, always check if uh, your uh, given when you're rewriting it, it's always consistent with the original uh, substance or equation. Okay, the second half reaction would be your nitrous acid reaction. So that's HNO2 and that yields what? Uh, nitrate. Okay. Okay, let's take a, a look of uh, the small numbers here in superscript with the powers in math. So this would signify negative 2, positive 3, and negative 1 are actually oxidation numbers, or these are the uh, charge of uh, the substances. So when it doesn't, you don't see anything negative or positive, it means this is neutral. This is negative 2, that's positive 2, this is negative 1. So we're done with the first step, doing the two half reactions. Okay, the second step, if you remember, the second step is actually balancing non-oxygen and non-hydrogen atoms. So in our first half reaction, that would be what? Chromium, of course. So how many chromiums do you see here? You have one, two. This is only one, even if it's a positive three in oxidation number. So you just have two. This is very similar to your SHS chemistry balancing equation. However, there you were more concerned about the number of elements in the compound or in the equation. This uh, is very specific to uh, the behavior of oxygen, nitrogen, and the charge. Okay. Because I was asked that before on the previous video, what's the, what's the difference? It's actually very similar because you really have to balance the number of elements in the equation. But here, the focus will be the effect of oxygen, hydrogen, and charge. Okay? 
For the second one, our non-oxygen and non-hydrogen element would be nitrogen. So we have one here, you have one here, so that's good. So we don't do anything there. Okay, so the next step would be to focus on what? We focus on oxygen. So this uh, first half reaction has oxygen, that's seven. So what do we do? We actually add water. We said we were adding water in the absence of oxygen on one side. And that's seven, so this is only one. So let's make that seven. And for the second half reaction, we have three oxygens here, oxygens. And so this is only two. So what do we do? Okay, I'll just rewrite it. So that's N uh, O two plus to compensate for the missing oxygen, it's add a molecule of water, N O three. Okay, let's checking it again. So first we have seven O chromium balance here in this case nitrogen is balanced you have one you have one then for oxygen you have three it's one two three so let's rewrite those uh i hope you don't mind if i take a picture because i'm gonna bring our result to the next uh slide so I'm bringing them so it's actually dichromate. So the first half reaction is dichromate, and then that's a negative two yields what? We're bringing the balanced uh, equations already plus seven water molecules. Okay, and then for the second half reaction, that's nitrous acid plus water yields what? It yields nitrate and it has a negative one oxidation. So what's next? We're done with uh, the non-oxygen, non-hydrogen. We're done with oxygen. So what's left will be, uh, of course, hydrogen. So how many hydrogen atoms do you see on this part? So that's 14. So you don't see any hydrogen atoms here, ions. So we'll add what? We'll add, of course, 14. Add 14 hydrogen and then for the second one let's count them we have one two three and we don't have anything here so let's add okay you can also see a sort of a pattern or sort sort of a method to at least uh give you an idea that what you're doing is correct if you're adding uh on the first for example half reaction on the left side on the other half reaction, you're, you're actually adding on the right side. So it's always on the opposite side. I just need to drink something, okay? Okay, let's continue. We're done with balancing non-oxygen, non-hydrogen. We're done balancing oxygen. We're done balancing hydrogen. What's next? We have check the charges or the oxidation numbers. They also have to be balanced. So let's analyze or let's inspect the first half reaction. Uh, the first side, that's H positive 14, so that's positive 14. And this is a negative 2. Thus, for this part, we have a positive 12 charge. And this is 3 positive times 2, that's 6. And this is neutral, so this is positive 6. On the second half reaction, we have um, this neutral, but this is negative 1 and positive 3. So in this case, we have a positive 2 reaction there. So knowing that, we have to balance. Okay, you can't uh, add positives because what we're adding would be negatives because we're using the electron as you remember from the last video. So we will be adding electrons on this side. So that's 14 hydrogens plus your dichromate plus that's positive 12 and to make it positive 6 how many electro electrons do we add we add 6 and then of course just rewrite the other side because we don't have any problems there we're retaining the positive uh, positive 6 there 
Okay, that positive two is, of course, for this part. Okay, don't be confused. So, for the second half reaction, this is neutral. So, it's already neutral. So, you don't, have, you don't do anything to it. You don't add electrons to it to make it negative. Okay, so what do we do? We retain nitrous acid plus water. Instead of adding electrons on this, of course, to make it negative, because we don't really need to make it negative. Instead, make the other side neutral. So this is positive 2. So this is NO3, your hydrogens. And since we need to negate positive 2 here, what do we do? We add two electrons. Okay? I hope that's clear. Now, uh, we also know from the previous video that we have to remove or cancel out the electrons by using multiples. So we have six here, we have two here. So it's quite obvious that what we, we do, we multiply the first equation by one and the second equation by three to make this at least equal to six. So let's rewrite it. It's 14 H positive. As you can see, uh, the method is uh, actually easy. You can actually get the correct answer by just following the method and following the steps. And then multiply 3 to the second half reaction. So that's 3HNO2 plus 3H2O yields what? 3NO3 plus 9 H positive plus 6. Okay. I hope you got that. So what's next? We said after doing that, all you have to do is, what do we do? We cancel out the electrons. Okay. Well, uh, my idea behind canceling the electrons is because an electron, is a subatomic particle, it's not tangible. You really don't mix it <laughs> in a solution. For example, we have a lab experiment and then I ask you to do this. You don't request, mom, can I have six electrons? You don't do that. So that's why that's the rationale behind this canceling. It was used in this problem or in this method just to cancel out or to balance the charges. Okay. Again, I'm going to use uh, your style. I'm going to take a picture and then just transfer our result to the next slide. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Doing that, I'm gonna rewrite it without the electron part, okay? I'm removing those already, so our final, not yet final, I mean, our resulting equations from the previous step will be dichromate, Yields. Okay. As you can see. Uh, by the way, in this video, you can always go back and just move your mouse, mouse pointer to that part. Uh, so that you can always go back to it and check uh, where we are on the next slide. Okay. And the other half reaction is 3. Okay. That's for nitrous acid plus water. Nitrate. Okay. So what's next? Obviously, you're almost done. So what you do is add the two half reactions to uh, be able to get uh, the final equation. So, of course, you can see that if they're on a different side, so that's 14 and 9. This is 5 each positive. And then what else? I'm seeing water. So that's that remain we have four water here. What else? Nothing to like chromate, it's just one there. Chromium, okay. So all you have to do is put together the substances on the left side and then put together the substances on the right side. So this is well uh in my case uh, during the exam or an activity, I don't mind the order but I mind the completeness. So in this case plus, I almost forgot the hydrogen atoms. 
And then for this part, that's two. Okay. So that's our, actually our final answer, but let's check. In checking, I want you to uh, identify each element of their balance in the reactant and product side and also the charge. So what are the elements that you're seeing? Okay, hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, and then chromium. Okay, on the reactant and then on the product side. This is how I check normally. Okay. How many hydrogens do you see on this side? So that's three plus five, that's eight. How many do we see here? None there, none there, four times two, we have eight. So that's one check. Okay, nitrogen, how many do I see? I see three, none here, none here. How many nitrogens do I see? I see three, so it's a check. It's almost balanced. Like uh, in our uh, dialect, pupuro. You're pupuro already. Okay, if this was a game of bingo, you're almost there. Okay, oxygen, that's six, right? That's three times two. Plus seven, that's 13. And then let's check on the other end. That's three times three, that's nine plus four. Hmm, that's 13. And then for chromium, how many do we have? We have two. We have two. Okay, there you go. So for the elements part, you're actually, they're actually balanced. You have the same number of elements on both sides. Now, the last critical part in checking would be uh, the charge. So the whole uh, oxidation number of the whole substance on one side as compared to the other side. So here, the oxidation number is, uh, let's see, this is neutral. This is negative 2 and this is positive 5. So that's positive 3. I net charge. In this case, this is three positive, that's six. And then, and then this is negative three. So our net charge is positive three. So that's it. So our final answer, once I ask you to, of course, uh, in our activity, okay, that's quite a long line there. <clears throat> there you go. This will be our final answer. So that is actually the balance equation for our initial uh, reaction for dichromate and nitrous acid, which is yielding uh, nitrate and chromium. Okay, so again, thank you for watching the video. Uh, if there will be questions, uh, we have I would answer them and uh, on our sync classes, uh, on our scheduled sync classes. So don't forget to jot down, and then you can always um, message me and then identify, uh, like say. Ma'am, on this part of the video, I, I don't quite understand. Please let me know. And then uh, I will be replying to you via discussion boards or messenger chats or group chats. Okay? So for now, uh, please wait for the next part. I'm going to do another example, which is a basic solution just to uh, illustrate the next step. Because there's always an extra step when doing a basic solution. Okay? So for now, thank you for watching the video. Uh, I hope, I hope uh, this helps you in your uh, in doing your uh redox reactions your balancing redox reactions okay so there you go so for now i'll be leaving you so uh, have a nice day and please wait for the next one bye